These fierce competitors were smizing long after the show wrapped. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most successful America's Next Top Model winners. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the winners of this reality competition series who found success after being on the show. Number 10. Nicole Fox Cycle 13 of ANTM was the petite edition, where models 5, 7 and under could finally compete. Lift your chin a little bit when you smile because you have a heavy brow which photographs beautifully, but you don't want to get lost in your brow. At exactly 5'7", Nicole Fox was one of the tallest girls in the competition and took home first place. Nicole! Since then, she's done plenty of print modeling campaigns, working for Forever 21's sister brand Heritage 1981, Illiterate Magazine, Steve Madden, and House of Harlow. But she's also decided to try her hand at acting, appearing in smaller films like 2013's Ashley, 2014's Redlands, and the 2014 horror flick Girl House. She continues to act and seems to be focusing on that rather than modeling. Number 9. Whitney Thompson you probably remember this contestant as the first plus-sized model to ever win the competition, despite the judges' criticisms that her performance was at times too reminiscent of pageant work. I represent a healthy American woman. Many were surprised by her win because of the many times she found herself in the bottom two, but she has continued to work as a model even after her time on the show wrapped. I want to be everywhere. I want to be doing everything, and um, I want to be a role model. For the 2009-2010 winter season, Thompson modeled for Forever. Forever 21's Faith 21 campaign, while also working for major brands like Saks Fifth Avenue, Converse and JCPenney, and appearing in a number of magazine spreads. She also works as an ambassador representing the National Eating Disorders Association. Since I won America's Next Top Model, I've shot for pretty much everyone in America. Macy's, Saks Fifth Avenue, JCPenney's, and Walmart, Hanes, all the major competitors. Number 8. Lisa D'Amato if you only watched the earlier seasons of America's Next Top Model, you probably remember Lisa D'Amato from season 5, but she didn't win, placing 6th in the competition. We have to see if they work! Lisa, don't pee in that. No, please don't. Lisa, please. Then Lisa announces that she's gonna pee in a diaper. Please, don't do that. She was back for cycle 17, though, which was an all-star cycle and she took home the top prize. I always knew that I was a star. I was, you know, twinkle, twinkle, I'm a star. She may have been a somewhat contentious presence on the show, but that hasn't stopped her from booking jobs since, working as both a model and trying her hand in the music industry. After ANTM, she had a major spread in Vogue Italia, and in 2016, actually live-streamed the birth of her second child. Number 7. Adrienne Curry this model may be the most memorable winner in the show's history because she was the very first. America's Next Top Model is... Adrian. Soon after her win, Curry did some runway modeling as well as print campaigns. She famously and controversially appeared in Playboy in 2006 and again in 2008. She shifted her focus to other forms of entertainment media, however, appearing on several reality TV shows including The Surreal Life and My Fair Brady. She's also dabbled in acting over the years, and now continues to be in the public eye with her social media presence. Number 6. Joanna House Back in 2004, ANTM was still shiny and new when it aired its second season. I wanted to start modeling, and the market that I wanted to be in was high fashion, and I know I couldn't fit into the clothes that the designers would want if I was the size that I used to be. Joanna House came out on top as the winner, consistently showing an enthusiasm and knowledge of the industry that surpassed that of those around her. America's Next Top Model is... Joanna. Since then, she's worked on a number of different projects, hosting a reality show called Queen Bees in 2008 and becoming the face of the CW around the time of its launch in 2006. You may also remember her involvement in the Declare Yourself campaign, which encouraged young voters to register to vote at the polls on Election Day. Number 5. Danny Evans Many ANTM winners received contracts with CoverGirl as part of their prize, but most of them didn't have those contracts renewed at the end of the agreed-upon term. Danny Evans was one of the few exceptions. Danielle. Since 
winning Cycle 6, she's worked with major brands like Sephora and Tory Burch, and has appeared in publications like Elle, In Touch Weekly, Essence Magazine, and The New York Post. You can follow Evans on Instagram at, at DannyEvans1, where she posts regularly about her modeling campaigns and also shows snippets of her personal life. Number 4. Celicia Stowers Many contestants enter the competition without much experience to speak of, but Celicia Stowers was already a working model and actress by the time she found herself on ANTM. Hey! How y'all doing? My name is Celicia. She had appeared on Ugly Betty and had modeled for Project Runway. There was even speculation that she was picked as the winner of the show because she had a prior relationship with Tyra, having attended Tyra's T-Zone camp and the Tyra Banks show. You went to my T-Zone camp years ago, and because of that, I'm gonna be harder on you. Despite the naysayers, she has thrived since winning the show's ninth season, mostly as an actress rather than a model. Since 2015, she plays Lonnie Price on Days of Our Lives and has appeared in a number of other TV shows. She knows something. I think Haley's here at the hospital. Number 3. Eva Marcil, also known as Eva Pigford On the show, this model was known as Eva Pigford, but she's since decided to go by Eva Marcil, going by her first and middle name rather than that of her family. If I was looking at this in a magazine, I think you totally nailed it because I would want to know who those rings were from. After winning the show's third season, she jumped into a successful modeling career and also made some forays into film and television. She's currently one of the most high-profile winners of the show because of her appearances on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, where, as of season 11, she is a main cast member after previously appearing as a friend of NeNe Leakes. Does that say dime a piece? Dime piece? That's what they knew me as a piece, you know that I read it when you just cut up. Dime piece? Like, oh my god. Number 2. Keith Carlos in 2014, this model became the first male participant to take home the title of America's Next Top Model after appearing on Cycle 21, which featured contestants of all genders. Keith, you are America's Next Top Model. Congratulations! Before getting into modeling, Keith Carlos was a football player for Purdue University and in 2011 even signed with the NFL's Philadelphia Eagles. Winnie Harlow may have been the breakout star of this season despite not taking home the top prize, but Keith Carlos has found success in his own right. In 2018, he appeared in a video for Cardi B's song Be Careful, playing her love interest. He has a pretty massive social media following and has also done TV and film acting. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number 1. Niall DeMarco Our number one pick for this list is actually one of the most recent ANTM winners. Participating in Cycle 22, Niall DeMarco became the second male model to win the competition, as well as the first deaf person. You can do a lot of things, you know, the only thing we can't do is here. Soon after, he went on to win Season 22 of Dancing with the Stars. He is an advocate for the deaf community and has made a number of public appearances, including a TED Talk, to support the cause. He's also made a career for himself in both acting and modeling, appearing in a number of scripted television series. We can't wait to see what he gets up to next. So, uh, what are some words you would use to describe yourself? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.